up guys? How are you doing? This is my top five favorite freshwater lures. I live in Ohio. Um, we get trout, smallmouth, largemouth, walleye, sawguy, stripers, wipers, white bass, you name it, we catch it. Here are my top five favorite lures of the year so far. Okay guys, for number five, this should be number one. No, these, these aren't really in order of my favorite because I absolutely love to fish with this. It is a trolling rig. I'm, I'm trolling at the same speed I would troll for roll, walleye. I'm going one five to two. And recently, Ohio has been going crazy over wipers. They're a mix between a striped bass and a white bass. And this little wall, this little walleye rig basically is the best lure you can use to catch wipers. I have caught so many wipers. It's ridiculous on this lure. All it is is it's about a, I don't know, two and a half, three foot leader with, you can buy these anywhere. You can buy these at any fishing store. Um, worm harnesses is what they're called. I don't know why I couldn't think of the name. Worm harnesses. I have about every color, every size. Some have three hooks. I use the ones with the two with two hooks normally. I put depending on where where they're where I'm marking them at. I either put a half ounce um, bullet sinker and a swivel. Have to have the swivel, um, and then the bullet sinker. Just troll about one five one two. I'm telling you guys, wipers love these things, and they're really good to eat. Um, I don't eat bass, largemouth. Um, because they're a game fish and I, you know, I respect the sport. But wipers are put in there by the ODNR specifically to eat. And I'm telling you, they are delicious. Um, best thing to do. If you're fishing from the bank for, and you really want to get wipers, guess you can use chicken liver at the bottom. That's what they say. So, for the next lure. This is a lure I'm sure everybody has in their tackle box. Everybody has seen them. It's just the regular feather jig. I have had so much fun on this jig this year just from this simple freaking feather jig. You can use all sorts. I don't care what color. You People use them smaller. They'll use um, anything. If you tip this with a few wax worms and you're going for trout, it's the best thing to use. Now, this is what I use. I go up to up to Cleveland in the fall and spring when the steelhead are running and I'll use this guy right here, tip him with a few wax worms. I'll use floral carbon about a about a two foot liter, maybe even three foot liter with my jig at the bottom. I'll tie a swivel on and I'll put the smallest split shots I have. I mean, absolute smallest. Presentation is everything. You will not catch fish if you don't have fluorocarbon. I guarantee it. It's an art. You got to know. You can go. I, I, the first, I think, six times I went up to the rivers to try and catch a steelhead, I had no luck. It just takes some time. One thing is 100% certain you have to have fluorocarbon. Do not use bulky split shots and use the smallest hook you can use. You can also substitute this for a really small hook and tie it with fresh, or um, yeah, hook it with fresh um, salmon eggs, or trout eggs. They come in a little bag, they sell them. You can look them, you can find them anywhere. You can find them at Fin Feather Fur. Everybody has them, you can use them. That works really well, I've caught them on that. Um, I've actually never caught them on, people use, um, crankbaits and spinners um, every everywhere has their own methods just go out and talk to talk to people um, they're most of them are more than willing to help you it's all about learning the local knowledge um, that's how I did it I went up and talked to people see what they're using but I had the most luck this year on this pink feather jig this is 
another, I know I keep saying it, it is one of my favorite baits. I absolutely have a freaking blast with this thing. It's similar to a rooster tail, but it's a streamlined rooster tail. I'm going to have to get see if we can focus on it here. This thing catches so many fish. I use these in creeks, rivers, lakes, but let me tell you, go take this thing to your local creek, local river, you'll catch creek chubs, smallmouth, trout, rock bass, crappie, bluegill. Literally there's nothing that doesn't like this thing. It is an absolute monster of a lure and I recommend you go get one right now. You can get them on Amazon. I think you can even get them on Wish. Um, this lure is a freaking awesome, awesome lure. Alright guys, on to our next lure. So, in Ohio, I fish all year long. And if you don't know, Ohio gets pretty cold. Um, I'm in there January, February, just tugging away at the saw guy. And for this, for the saw guy, this is my absolute favorite lure. I've seen guys throw crankbaits all day long and not catch a thing. And I don't understand why they don't just ask me or just look at what I'm using and catch them. So what I have, typically I like the, the top one to be a little bit smaller and I'll put a twister tail. But my chaser is a freaking Kai Tech. And I'll tell you what, I throw it downstream, and you know how the old saying goes, 90% of the fish are in 10% of the water. And I will just bounce it off the rocks. So I will just let it, let the stream go. This will have amazing action, and it catches fish. Most people don't utilize the two hook set, but I'm telling you, it is an absolutely amazing way to catch saw guy or even walleye in the spring and fall when they're coming in to the river systems this is an absolutely amazing rig you can catch stripers on it walleye saw guy um and if you know if if, if you went to a small rig and put either crappy tubes or sexy shads on it um this is damn near the exact same rig I would use for crappie, just much smaller. Um, and I mean, 60, 70 crappie in a day, I'll catch on these. Um, absolutely amazing catches. Saw guy are some of the funnest, toughest fish, fish to catch, but to get an extra advantage, Kai Tech at the bottom, twister tail on top, little bit smaller jig on top, have the trailer be a little bit heavier, and you won't regret it. Alright guys, so on to the final lure of the night. It is the French Mets. This lure, particularly, has caught more bass than most people have caught bass in their entire lifetime. This is, I can't even begin to explain to you how, I don't even know why. This lure catches so many fish. I mean, this will catch, if you use a little bit bigger one, it'll catch musky. But this is a bomb, bomb bass lure. Trolling along the sides, not trolling, casting along the sides. And banks, I don't care. This thing just catches fish. This lure has been around for definitely longer than you have been around. And it is just a absolute classic and one of the oldest lure makers of all time, a French mess. So guys, we're coming to the end of the video. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching along. And if you liked this video, you thought it was informal, please subscribe, smash that like button. I would be more than happy to answer all of your comments. I will answer all of your comments. If you have any questions, if you want to see me fish with any of these lure in lures in particular, please just comment, let me know. I'll be more than responsive. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed till next time.